thank you so much for tuning in for today's episode of Skate with Michelle. We are going to be working on the camel spin today. I'm going to break down the basic things that you need in order for you to execute a strong camel spin on the ice. So let's get started. So like the previous two spins that we discussed, we start with our feet in a T position because I teach basic spins from a standstill. It's really important to narrow down that standstill spin in order for us to generate speed when going into the crossovers with control. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend my knees in this T position and I'm going to start with my arms in an L shape towards you because I want to create a perpendicular shape with my uh, skating leg and my arm so that I can step forward and pretend as though I have a pen in my hand. And I'm actually going to show you with a pen in my hand. Bam! I have a pen in my hand and we're going to start like this. I have my feet in a T position as so. My pen is facing the camera. I'm going to bend my knees and as I stroke into that outside edge, I'm going to be able to use this skating arm to draw a half circle all the way to the point where I'm able to balance, tip my belly button forward, and hold a camel, as so. Fantastic. So let's review that one more time so you can understand the idea of what I'm talking about with this pen. So, as you can see, when we start in a T position, you're gliding forward, as so. However, when you're gliding forward, of course we're on the ground, we're not gonna just go in a straight line, you're going to go on a curve. So let me show you a little bit more if we were to go on a curve. So if I'm bending here, and if I were to go on a curve, I would rotate my arm all the way around to create half a circle, and then my bottom leg is actually gonna turn at that half a heart, so then I could be gliding on my inside edge to be holding my camel spin. All right, so having this left arm in front, or for the righties, the skating arm in front. I want to be able to use this as a guide, right? If I have control on using my skating arm as a guide, then they don't flop around. You're actually able to hold the outside edge as opposed to snapping right away or just letting it dangle, right? I like to keep my skating arm straight. I don't want to bend, I don't want to drop my shoulder. I want to keep this nice and strong and structured. So let's do it from the back or crossovers with the pen in hand. Backward crossover. Backward crossover. Backward crossover. Get ready for our wind up like we learned in our sit spin video. And I'm going to turn my shoulders from being inside the circle as so to outside the circle as so. And I'm going to be right here. From this wind up, I'm going to be facing my new skating leg towards the camera. It's going to be my new skating leg because I'm going to transfer all my weight onto my left foot for the spin. So I'm going to be here and I'm going to look back inside the circle that I came from and I'm going to step towards the camera as my new skating arm, because this is going to be transferred over to the left leg, my new skating arm is perpendicular to my new skating foot, right? So I'm here and I'm going to use this pen to draw a circle, right? And I'm going to hold and maintain this position. Stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Fantastic. Now let's put this pen away now that we've got the hang of the basics of how to enter the camel. Let's go over the actual camel position so you can master it. So in order for us to master the camel spin, I like to start with my two feet together and I'm gonna place my hands on my hips. I'm gonna bend at my waist as I'm sticking my glutes out back behind me. And as you can see, my bottom legs are straight. They are not bent, right, as so. So I'm gonna push my knees to straight in my legs. And on that, I put a lot of weight in my heels. So if you were to just hold and try to balance on the balls of your feet, you would actually tip forward. And you can notice that my legs are actually in a diagonal position, right? So because I'm sticking my glutes out back behind me and I'm leading with my toes, right? My toes are the things that are furthest away from my glutes. And from this, I can hang onto the wall and I'm going to point my foot behind me, and 
and I'm gonna squeeze my glutes and hold. And I'm gonna count to five, four, three, two, and one. So most camel spins that I see are hunched like so. So what I also wanna emphasize is what you do with your shoulders. So let's place our hands on our shoulders as so. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull back my shoulders, right? For example, if your grandma tells you that you have really bad posture, she'll probably tell you to pull back your shoulders, right? I know that my mom tells me that quite often. Pull back your shoulders so you're not slouched. And what you're gonna also do is you're gonna take your two fingers, you're gonna place them right here, and you'll notice that there's bones that are sticking out. And these are your shoulder blades. And there's muscles behind your shoulder blades, or underneath your shoulder blades, that will allow you to squeeze and pinch those shoulder blades together for you to have a nice arch in your spine. So imagine if you lift your rib cage, you pull your shoulder back, you pull your shoulders back, you tip forward, you straighten your legs, you stick your glutes out, you have your arms in an airplane position, your chin is up, and you lift your free leg, and you hold. And that is your camel. Let's go over it with the crossovers now. We're gonna go push and cross, push, and cross, push, and twist. Look over my shoulder. And now I'm gonna look towards the camera, step back inside the circle. So one of the biggest mistakes is stepping either away from the circle that you just created. So remember that you created a circle with your crossovers, as so. You're gonna hold an inside edge. And what I'm gonna tell you to do is step back inside the circle that you created, right? And then you're gonna take this, new skating arm, new skating side, you're gonna hold that outside edge, you're gonna use that new skating arm to slowly draw a circle, and you're gonna lift to your free leg, and you're gonna hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, shoulders back, pinch your shoulder blades together, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic, one foot spin, and landing. Well, there you have it. That is the camel spin. Make sure you go over these basic details in order for you to master a fast, beautiful camel and transition into more difficult variations.